Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Check it out, I've got a monster tomahawk ribeye. I'm gonna hang this dude on my drum smoker today. Get to play with my power tools. I'm gonna put a hole in that bone, hook it up, hang it over some pecan smoke. You know it's gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So this tomahawk ribeye weighs about three and a quarter pounds. It's a big one. First thing, I gotta get some holes in the bone and I've just got my old trusty Dewalt drill out. And we're just gonna waller it out enough where I can get my butcher twine through there. I gotta make me some holes for my hook. Now I'm gonna take my quarter inch bit. I've got a pilot hole drilled, but I can get a hook right through it. That looks good, don't it? So now that I got my holes drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and tie this steak up. Put a little piece of butcher twine in there and I'm gonna use the hook kind of to push it on the way through. Now that's gonna give me something to tie because this ribeye steak has fat that's holding the whole thing together. It's different muscle groups surrounded by these thin layers of fat. And if you don't tie it up, they can separate, especially when I hang it. So I'm just gonna make simple butcher's knot with this string and that's gonna hold it while it cooks. Just double knot it up. It's got a good shape to it. You can trim off the excess. Now we're ready for some seasoning and I'm keeping it simple. Coarse salt, coarse black pepper, my TX seasoning. It's gonna give a good crust to this ribeye. And I'm gonna go fairly heavy. It's a big piece of meat, three and a quarter pounds. It could take the salt, it could take the pepper. You wanna season it on all sides. We want this dude tasting good. I wanna get a crust going on the outside of it. If you want to put a binder on it, a little olive oil, some beef tallow, be great. See the backside of that bones, I might gnaw on that. We're gonna let it sit and hang out for a few minutes. Let those flavors kind of meld into that meat. I'm gonna fire up my drum smoker. So I'm starting with some Royal Oak all natural briquettes in my drum firebox. Gonna throw a couple tumbleweeds on, light them up and then drop it down into the drum. You just wanna leave the lid off the drum for about 15, 20 minutes. Get a good bed of hot coals going. Add a few chunks of pecan wood to those hot coals so it gives us some smoke. Set my hanging rack in place and then put the lid on. After about five minutes, I'm gonna check the vents back. On the intakes, we're going about a quarter inch on each side and on the top, we're going a quarter inch as well. It should stay out about 275, 300 degrees. So it took about 30 minutes for the drum to come up stabilized right in that 275, 300 range. We're ready to hang this ribeye now. So I'm just gonna take one of the hooks that come with my drum kit, run it right through the bone, and it's ready to go right on the rack. Let's go over to the drum, show you where we're gonna hang it over the coals. So I'm just gonna put it right about midways on one of these racks here. You see I've got two bars, I've got multiple positions. We're gonna start that steak off in this side and then every 15 minutes, I'm gonna kind of rotate this whole rack about a third of the way so it kind of moves around the coals, helps it cook even. You wanna get the lid back on when you're cooking on a drum. Anytime you keep it off, it's gonna make it get hotter. So just know you gotta be pretty quick so that temperature doesn't get away from you. Gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes and then rotate the rack. All right, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna rotate this hanging rack just about a third of the way. Just move that steak over to a different location. Put the lid right back on, it's looking good. Let it keep cooking. All right, it's been 30 total minutes on our hanging tomahawk. At this point, I'm gonna give it another turn, bring it over to this zone now, but I wanna start looking at the internal temp. I don't know how long it's gonna take because I've never done one of these. So I'm just gonna take my thermal pen, just go in it and feel, oh yeah, we're doing good. We're still only at 90 degrees internal. We got a ways to go. I'll leave it hanging right here. Now we're gonna get some of that fat rendering. It's about to that point. It's gonna be dripping on these coals as it's just a swing in there. Let's get the lid back on it. So we're 45 minutes in now on our big steak. See that fat's dripping. We've got some smoke rolling from that pecan wood. Whew. Crust is looking good on it. Still need to get a temp. We've edged up to about 110 degrees. It still has another at least 15 minutes. Let's put it back on here, give it another spin, get the lid back on. I'm gonna get some buttermilk because we gotta start basting this dude now. That's really what's gonna make it rich. So while our steak's finishing up in the smoke, I wanna get some butter melted. I'm gonna infuse it with some herbs and some garlic. I've just got two sticks of salted butter going into my iron skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some garlic, some rosemary, some thyme. We just wanna melt this butter, get some of the flavors out of the garlic, out of the rosemary, out of the thyme. All right, we've been 15 more minutes. That's an hour total on this big tomahawk steak. Still checking the temp, see where it's at. About 119, oh man, it's getting there. 115 in the eye. I think it's time to get some butter on this steak. Beautiful color, you can still see the pepper, the salt. 
I got to get my lid back on the drum so the fire don't get away from me. We're going to go over and butter this dude now. I'm not trying to cook the steak. I'm just wanting to get some of this butter up on it. I'm going to baste it real quick around the edges. I'm going to flip it over, do that same thing. Make sure that butter gets on there. You can't have too much butter on it. Now I know when I put it back on this grill, that butter's going to start dripping down. It's going to make it fire up. So we got to be quick at this point. I need about three or four more degrees for my liking. Put it back on the pit. So I'm going to hang it right back where it was. Spin this rack one more time. And then whatever butter got in my pan there, I'm just gonna let it drizzle down, drizzle down that bone. Now you don't wanna walk too far away. You can see it's already starting to flame up from that butter going down. I'm gonna put the lid on. How's it looking after two minutes? Oh yeah, fat's rendered still. We're gonna let it hang two more minutes. It'll be time to check that internal again. All right, let's see where we're at. Still got some good flame action going. Look at beautiful strings holding up. Just lay it right here on my pan. Oh, it feels good. I think we're gonna carry over. That's 122 degrees right in the center. I'm gonna call that done. That looks good to me, but I think it needs a little more butter. What do y'all think? Now I'm gonna take my pan of butter, the garlic, the rosemary, the thyme. We're gonna put it all over this steak. And now it just needs to rest. I'm gonna leave it right here on the board. Let it hang out five, 10 minutes. Let it calm down. So I let the tomahawk hang out here in that butter with the garlics and herbs all on the top for about seven minutes. Now it's time to try it. So I'm gonna get it over to the board. I don't need all that on top now. That's really just for show. Take this string off. We're ready to get down to business. Now we're ready to cut this tomahawk off the bone. It's real easy to do. Just take a knife, follow it right on down. And don't throw that bone away. You know there's some good gnawing material there. But we're gonna cut it up, see how I did. I got a feeling this dude's gonna melt in your mouth. That's a lot of steak for one person, so you might wanna find a friend to eat this one with you. What does it look like off in there? Oh, that is beautiful. It's juicy, cooked perfectly, medium rare, all the way across. That is gorgeous right there. Now let's just spread it out a little bit so we can see all that goodness. Oh man, it all looks good. That's not a fine steak. I don't know what is. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this butter that's in the pan. I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top. Give us something to dab that steak in. Give me a piece out here. I can't wait to try this, y'all. Cut up a few bites so we can get down to it. I mean, look at that, that is beautiful beef. Mm. Holy smokes. Just like I thought, that drum gives this ribeye phenomenal flavor. I love cooking over those hot coals, meat juice dripping down, big piece of beef like this. We put that butter on it on the end, it made it flame up, perfectly cooked. I mean, it's so easy, you just watch it. Every 15 minutes we rotated it and the ribeye turned out phenomenal. I don't know if there's a better way to cook one. Man, mm. it's like butter. Salt, pepper, only seasonings on it. Basted it with the butter at the end. Cooked over pecan wood on the drum. Coals flaming up as that meat juice drips down. That's how you barbecue right in my book. Mm. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You know you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I'm even doing some TikTok. And Shell and I will talk about this tomahawk ribeye hanging on a drum on our weekly podcast. We'll talk about all the other delicious stuff. We'll see y'all next time. This is where it's at. You know, I said you might need to get a buddy. I think I can eat the whole thing. I might be in a meat coma for a day. <laughs> y'all didn't think I forgot about that bone, did you? This is the best part. Mmm, I tell you how to eat a big old tomahawk. Mmm.